Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I have with me one of the organizers of um, a cryptocurrency conference that happens in Britain. I've heard really great things about this conference. I'm going to be going to it this year. That's my plan. And uh, I ask you to just to subscribe, comment. Please give me your comments. If you're watching me on BitTube, please give me your comments. That is the currency for my channel because then I know that there's somebody there. Um, and follow me on Twitter, Crypto Rich YT. Crypto Rich YT. And watch out for this because you may learn something. Lots and lots of different projects are going to be here. Tired of just playing for fun? Make a living just by playing your favorite games. You can make anywhere from 1% to 1,000% return depending on the difficulty of the game. Play, win, earn, bet verse. So I have with me Adam. He's one of the organizers of CoinFest UK. So Adam, thank you so much for making yourself available. Do you want to uh, first off let me know what you do with CoinFest UK and how it started and why it started? Um, CoinFest is an international event started in Canada in 2013 uh, by Andrew Wagner. Um, started in a pub just as a crypto gathering and getting people together, just generally talking about Bitcoin uh, crypto. And in 2016, I brought it to the UK. Um, the first event was in Manchester at Mad Lab. And it was really just a gathering that I started off uh, contacting the people that I work with in the crypto space, mm -hmm. um, just seeing if I could get everyone together. It was only a small venue, a bit of free food, um, and a few talks and uh, a few tables out just for people to present. Yeah, and, and then year on year, it's just grown from there, really. Oh, wow. Okay. And you said it's an in international event. Where else yeah. does it happen, CoinFest, now? CoinFest, um, it's happened all over the world. So you, I recently retweeted um, what CoinFest International put out, and it's got all the dots all over Google Earth. You can see them all over the world. So it's all over America. We've got Africa. And I think the only place that I can't see one is Australia, which I'd like to work on this year with someone I work out with out there. But pretty much, it's, I think uh, our our biggest time was about 18 countries at the same time oh wow and is it is it like a, a regular thing or does it happen once a year in each of these locations have i frozen okay adam you you've now frozen so so you're back now okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right let me ask that question again yeah is it like it just happens in one location once a year or does it keep happening every month or every three months you know a monthly meetup it's a yearly event so it happens during it will, it will happen during the period of april the 2nd to april the 10th which is satoshi nakamoto's supposed birthday right so we're okay. in that period is it, and it's that's a yearly. the uk one is it all over the world at the same same weekend we try to make it at the same time so then what we tend to do each year is we do uh, an international dial and a google hangout with the other ones around the world um, which is quite fun. You know, it, it's fun. Last year, we connected in about 7 o'clock on a Friday with Canada. Them guys were a little bit drunk over there. We had a few different countries connecting, and we just tend to do like a panel between us and just have a chat to see kind of what them guys are doing over there. Um, so we try to make it on the same time. But, of course, I've been told that some organisers now will wait for the Manchester event dates and they'll book their dates before it, so then they can come to the Manchester event. Ah, and that is CoinFest UK, the one that you're organising, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I want to know, why Manchester? Why not London? Because I was born and bred in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, the whole reason, right? <laughs> Manchester's got amazing history, you know, of engineering. Right, 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 right. By the way, by the way, I think I think it's great that it's not in London. All right, you've frozen again. I don't know what it is. Okay. So, what was the last thing you heard? Um, why Manchester? Why Why Manchester? Yeah, okay, I heard your answer. Manchester's got a great history of engineering. Yeah. Um, so to have it here and to show, be able to show everyone what Manchester is, you know, what the history of Manchester's got, as well as, you know, we're, we're, it, the innovation that comes from Manchester, then, yeah, I've had many requests over the years to bring it to London, you know, you could get a bigger venue, you could get, 
a lot more people to the event. Uh, you could get a lot more sponsorship. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's 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 community driven. Mm. It's to get everyone together. Of course, we need sponsors to help raise the money for the event and, of course, uh, add uh, different activities onto the event. Um, but at the end of the day, it's there's a lot of history that we have in Manchester, so we should be proud of it. Sure, sure, sure. Now, I, th I think, in a way, I think it's great that it's not in London because the whole thing about cryptocurrencies is decentralization. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And then also it gives the people um, not in London to, to oh, wait, just create a presence outside London. Yeah. So, so good. It, now, it is further for me, though, right? <laughs> That's the drawback, but never mind. I have, heard, I have heard good things about it. I've never been myself. I'm hoping to go this year, but I have heard that it's a very – convivial sort of atmosphere good 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 yeah and not unlike unlike london right now what sort, of, what sort of attendance did you get last year and what are you expecting this year um it's really it goes off um it seems to go off the media uh you know the, the presence of bitcoin and crypto in the media 2018 was our biggest 700 or 800 people attended um, <clears throat> last year was about 400. Right. And um, this year we've already got we're just over 380 reserve tickets. Um, our ticket system has been made live, so um, we're really just pushing that ticket system out there and letting everyone register for the event. But yeah, so we it, it, it flows really. Um, this year we're working with the universities to help you know, get their students on, on board, so or hope, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then I suppose it, that all of that is affected by the price of Bitcoin, whether we're in a bear market or a bull market. Well, did you have it in 2017? How was it in 2017? Oh, that would have been before the bull run. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was about 300 people that attended that one. Right, so 300, then 700, then 300. And now this year, hopefully more than 700, because I think we are on the cusp of the bull run with the halving coming end of April, sometime in May. That'll be good. All right. And then what sort of uh, projects attend? How do you get the projects? And what sort of projects attend? All right. What, what was the last thing you did? <coughs> the cusp of the bull run. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> so what sort of projects attend? And how do you get those projects? Um, over the years, we've built up our... Um, sponsors and exhibitors that return keep returning to us so we've got um a company called bitty bot um uh, yep okay so it's a price comparison site um uh, run by uh, a chap called scott and he's been there since our very start so he sponsored us every year and he's been he's traveled all the way up from london uh, from brighton actually and he's every year he's been and he's sponsored um over the year we've had uh ethbits we've had monetary unit who are returning headline sponsors uh, Crown, Crown Platform, they've they've uh, returned. So we have we we're really we have a variety of projects that have sponsored us over the years. Some of them haven't come back; they've, they've gone on to other things. Some of them don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's a wide range of people, and that's the aim that I do with Coinfest. Is of course the initial Coinfest. I reached out to the people that I knew that I worked with. Uh, from there, we got you know sponsors that we'd you know never heard of companies approaching us and never heard of but i always tend to try to vet them try to look over the project you know we don't just you know and <clears throat> in the ico boom i tell a lot of people you know we got approached by probably 10 15 icos offering four or five bitcoin each to be part of the event but it's not about the money that we can make it's about what we what we show our attendees mm -hmm. um you know ico it's not a bad thing you know but there's a lot of bad press behind it you know, for, for example, so you know, even this year we've had we've been approached by you know the IEOs, um, so people still looking at new ICOs. So we, we, in terms of the exhibitors and the sponsors, yeah, we, we come from all different places, all over the world. Okay, okay, all right. And then I understand it's free for um, attendees. Yeah. Okay. Why is it free for attendees, and how do you do that? Uh, first of all, it's free for us to uh, lower the barrier um into crypto so uh, as I, i've seen over the years um there is a lot of events out there that charge a lot of money um there's a lot of barriers that people need to get past um to get into these events 
you know, like, as in one of them being the social thing, the aspects, you know, um, of it. The other one is the, 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 the cost of the ticket. Uh, so us making the event free hopefully lowers this barrier for people um, and enables them just to get access to this education, uh, to this kind of community and engagement. And the way we do that is, um, you know, we, we try to cover all the costs through our sponsors. Some of it's uh, funded by my company, Crypto Bates. Um, and yeah, it's, we get kind of hopefully the interaction from the sponsors and exhibitors that can help us lower the barrier. Um, right. Okay. And do you have any headline acts confirmed for this year? Any big it's exciting it's names? It. Apart from Monitor Unit. <laughs> um, in terms of, we, we have, but I mean, nothing that we can reveal at the minute. Uh -huh. um, you know, this year we're, we're, we're reaching, I'm reaching out on all different arms this year and making sure that, you know, we show people what the community is um, capable of in terms of the workshop, where there'll be four times as many workshops. Um, they'd be a lot broader. They're all free. Um, and they're coming from some, some are being hosted by universities. Some are being uh, hosted by, you know, well-established crypto uh, people that have been in the game for, for, for many years now. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a range, really. Okay. And, and what sort of stuff will the workshops cover? Uh, er <clears throat> everything from 101 basics of Bitcoin and blockchain. Uh, smart contracts uh, we've got investor trading OTC trading um, we've also got lightning POS uh, workshop um, mining where there'll be an overview of mining an example of how it works uh, yeah quite a lot of different uh, quite a wide range of workshops okay and is that to um, say that for example the mining one or how to I mean workshops on how to keep your Bitcoin safe and stuff are they sponsored by companies that are like, listen, we've got this hardware wallet. All right, what was the last? No. What, was, what was the last thing you heard? The, uh, you said, for example, the mining one. Yeah. For example, the uh, the mining workshop or a workshop on how to keep your Bitcoin safe and stuff. You know, would that be done by a company that's selling a hardware wallet or something? Um, generally, um, there, a lot of them are done by the community. Um, so they're done by the, the mining workshops are done. Uh, one of them is done by Greg Walker. So he would dive into the mining the transactions. Um, and he's just kind of given his advice that he's gained over the years of that. We have hardware wallet uh, workshops uh, done by Inspiring Co. Um, he sells, yeah, he sells wallets. He recommends wallets. Um, yeah, generally, it's... It, you know, a lot of these people are people that I work with for years. Uh, they've come to the other events that I've hosted, uh, Bitbum, Britbum, Bit Brighton, um, and yeah, they've been a really strong part of the community. Right, right, okay. Now you mentioned your company, CryptoBates. What does that do, and how is that? So really, it's just a it's a group company that holds all the projects that I've done over the years. Uh, so it, it was set up really for me to help me manage my developers in a much easier way, in easier fashion. Um, so we've got. All different types of projects. Um, of course, we've got CoinFest. We've got the event side, which is CoinFest, Bit Brum, Bit Brighton. We're doing another one um, called the Crypto Cup uh, at Watford FC, um, which is going to be a really interesting one with sports bet. Um, and then we've got the development side. So we've got the Crypto Grabber, which is an arcade claw machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Bitcoin. And then we've just got all different types of development projects that we've done over the years um, from POS systems, uh, faucets. Um, mining um, pools and stuff like that. Okay. Now you mentioned a couple of other events, Bit Brighton and Bit Brum. What dates are yep. those ones? Bit Bit um, Brum hasn't been uh, the date hasn't been set yet, but it's been in November. Okay. Uh, each year, and a, it's at the top of my head. I can't think of the Bit Brighton one that I've got. I've I'll got a few. I've got a few other dates I'll that I'm going to Okay, because I'm hoping to go to that as well. That's March the twenty first. <coughs> Sorry, Adam, what was the last thing you heard? Um, you asked me about the other events. Yeah, and then I, I did hear your answer, and then I said, and I'm going to say it now, <laughs> I'll tell you about Bit Brighton because I'm hoping to be that at that as well. That's March the 21st. Yeah. And Bit Brum, you said, will be a date in November. Are there any others that are 
around the UK that you're likely to do? Yeah, so we're co-organising um, one with uh, Watford Football Club. Um, yeah. The the organisers, the sponsors there. Who do you know? Have you seen their Bitcoin? No, I've heard, about it. I've heard about it. So um, we are co-organising with them, uh, Sportsbet.io, and they are organising a an event for the 16th of May, mm-hmm. and that will be at the Watford Football Stadium. It's called the Crypto Cup. So it will have, we'll, we'll have uh, football matches. Um, speakers, we'll have a panel uh, and a charity auction. Right. All about Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general? Crypt- cryptocurrencies in general, crypto adoption, really. That's the kind of focus on it. It's not commercial. You know, a lot of people that I've spoken to about them, oh, well, it's, you know, it's a big commercial company. No, it's not It's not commercial. It's to just do with the, uh, the adoption of crypto and, ha- you know, where do we see it in a year's time uh, and hopefully getting some of the big people together just to talk about, you know, the future of crypto. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, anything else you want? Oh, if people want to get involved and find out more about CoinFest, uh, either to attend or if you want to recommend a particular project or get in touch with a particular project to sponsor yeah. this, yeah, I'll have all the links in the description below. Is there anything else you want to let us know? Any last words? Um, really, uh, it's just about CoinFest. It's just spreading the word of CoinFest. Uh, you know, it's a free event, free to attend. Um, there's a wealth of uh, projects uh, that will exhibit. the speakers from all over the place, uh, all different backgrounds. Uh, it's just a gathering to get everyone together. And um, yeah, really, you know, sign up, grab a ticket, which is free. Mm-hmm. And uh, the event, uh, April 3rd, 4th and 5th. Very good, very good. Okay. And it'll be an opportunity, I suppose, for people to discover lots and lots of different projects and also for the projects to showcase themselves and expose themselves to a to an interested and curious crowd. Sorry, I froze then. <laughs> I know, okay. I got it, because <laughs> I was just <laughs> talking, which was that people can discover different projects and projects can expose themselves to a different crowd. Let's say get exposure, that's what I said. Yeah, they can definitely, yeah. You know, they, we have a, I've been told last year, I kind of experienced it because t- normally it's me running around, organizing, making sure everyone's in line. Because the event is, it's, it's a long event, it's three days, but, we also start from nine o'clock and we generally tend to end about 10, half 10 at night. Mm-hmm. So we have, uh, we have like a, an after party. We have a crypto raptor who does some rap music at night. Uh, so it's a very long event. But when I've managed to sit down with people, they said, well, you know, it's amazing because all these people can get together. They can sit outside uh, or they can sit in the bar. And it's, and it's kind of where the, where the knowledge is gained, where the people pass, you know, all the information is, is not in the speaker hall and the workshops. It's, when everyone's relaxed and everyone's in a bar. <laughs> yes, yes, the informal conversations yeah. that happen away from the main stage. I got it, I got it. Okay, all right. Well, listen, Adam, thank you so much for making yourself available. I'm going to have your Twitter link and the website link in the description below. Sure. And uh, if you are uh, going to be going to uh, CoinFest UK, let me know. And if you're going to be going to CoinFest UK or you have been or CoinFest anywhere, put it in the description below. If you have any information or anything you want to know, uh, check out the website. Let me know in the description below. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Adam signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Want to get more Bitcoin? Well, one way to get more Bitcoin is by mining. And you can mine with elevategroup.io. They're in Irkut, so they have really cheap electricity. You can buy the uh, miners online. And these are the miners that, miners that are currently available at the time of recording. You can track their progress, see what they're doing. Your miners are doing through the Awesome Miner dashboard, and that way everything is transparent. They publish the profits and the costs and everything publicly on the Telegram group. I do invite you to go check it out, join the Telegram group, and this might be something that you want to take up.